What is antigen presentation and adaptive immune system activation? Simply, this process starts when a bacteria enters the body. When there is a bacterial infection, the macrophages, which are excellent antigen presenting cells, will recognize the bacteria, so will eat it and degrade it into fragments called peptides. After that, the macrophages will load these particles or these peptides on molecules called major histocompatibility class two molecules and show them on its surface. So the antigen presentation is the process that happen when the macrophage eats the bacteria and degrade it into peptides and load it on molecules called major histocompatibility class two molecules and present them on its surface. So how the adaptive immune system is activated? After the antigen presenting cell, which is a macrophage in this case, present the antigen on its surface, the T helper cell will see it through its T cell receptor. This moment, the macrophage will secrete cytokine called interleukin-1. This interleukin-1 will stimulate the T helper cell and for the T helper cell to reach the fully activation, it needs to have a second signal. The second signal happens when the CD28 receptor on the T helper cell attached to the B7 protein on the macrophage. This moment, the T helper cell is fully activated. This moment, the T helper cell will secrete cytokine called interleukin-2. This cytokine will induce the B cells to produce plasma cells that produce antibodies and produce memory B cells that will remember this type of infection in the future. To summarize, the antigen presentation is the process that occurs when the macrophages, the antigen presenting cells, eat the bacteria and degrade it into peptides to be loaded on the major histocompatibility class two molecules to be presented on the surface and seen by the T helper cells. And the adaptive immune system activation starts when the T helper cells recognize the antigen on the surface of the macrophages, the antigen presenting cells, and activated by a second signal, which is engagement the CD28 receptor with B7 protein. So the T helper cells will be fully activated and produce IL-2 interleukin-2 that will induce the B cells to produce memory B cells and plasma cells that produce specific antibodies for that bacteria. With this, I would like to thank you all. And if you like this uh, video, please hit like and subscribe to see the future videos.